What is up everybody? We are back again with another post tournament commentary video from sunny South Florida. I apologize for the for the slow content release, but lately I've just been busy with real life, being an adult and all. Um, the previous two tournaments I ended up losing, but I haven't been able to find the con the actual video footage from the stream, so whatever. You guys just know I didn't win. Oh wells. I failed horribly in it. And this is the first one where I actually had time to actually sit down and edit the video. So, here we go. Um, this is me against a new guy. His name, I believe, was Valiant or Variance. One of those. Um, I noticed from the previous match that he was a Leo and Noctis player. When he played Leo, he played rather aggressive and very risky. But then when he played Noctis, he would zone and turtle a lot. So, using that info, I tried to formulate a rather stable game plan. Due to all the Leo experience that I had from playing Wade Gamble a lot, um, I'm very comfortable with the Leo matchup. So here I just wanted to see if he was going to be a back one Leo player or a totally high crush Leo player. And speaking of, there I sniped his first high crush attempt. So here I'm just spacing. Did not block the low, hate the follow up. I didn't punish the wall standing two. Alright, so there he is impatient and tries to interrupt the wall standing three two. Which, if you don't know, it's made Yoshi very buff. It further solidified him as being a counter-hit character in this game. Alright, here we go. Oh, the train continues. I don't block the low, and I do not punish correctly. It doesn't really matter because he himself tried to interrupt again the wall standing 3-2. Alright, so here I'm just flailing when I'm just trying to control him at the wall. Alright, he tried to interrupt again the two-hit string. And he's hesitant on getting up off the floor. And I think this was a mistake. Because in the beginning of the next round, I remember him mumbling, that was not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. So there, he, just just with that verbal uh, exchange, I know that he was not confident in the, in the match. So with that, I was able to actually push more buttons. Because I know he's not, he, he doesn't know what to expect. Alright, so I get the counter hit interrupt there to the wall. No. Alright, he's ducking Yoshi and Dragonfly. All right, there I tried it I tried the flash interrupt after blocking the back one, but I got counter hit because I'm guessing the wall was just slightly off axis enough. Right, I'm just flailing limbs. Oh I got hit again and I did not punish again. Alright, and there he just tried to interrupt the second hit again. All in all, it was a very sloppy match on both sides. He managed to be sloppier than me though, so it's okay. Alright, so here he goes, and much like I expected, he goes to Noctis. So from the previous match that I saw him play, I know that he was a very totally Noctis, and he was trying to get people with the big low, the down back too low, over and over and over, and people were just eating it left and right. So with that info, I was just gonna try to, I was gonna play Noctis how I play a lot of the the other ranged characters. So I'm just gonna space them out and try to bait the forward to dagger throw, because Noctis players always have an itch to attempt it. It's e they'll either attempt that or they'll attempt a wall running, what is it, one plus two, the big jumping slash. And he, he ended up getting a good stage. Noctis will benefit the multiple floor breaks more than Yoshi would ever will. So with that, I'm going to try to um, break the floors as fast as possible to take away that advantage. Alright, there I punished incorrectly. Alright, so there he got me with the big blow. Alright, there's the wall running. So he's just trying to get me to twitch duck or step incorrectly at the at max range. Alright, there he tried to throw. And I did not punish that correctly. That's minus 13. But either way, I still want it with the cheese low. Alright, there he's spacing correctly. Just back dashing. Alright, there he went for the low again. Alright, one floor breakdown. Alright. Gonna take as much hits. And then I instantly went for another floor break. That's another new buff for Season 2 Yoshi. His two throw breaks the floor. 
All right, so there's one floor break left. Okay, he he again went for the big low. Oh, that's a horrible trade. Oh, okay, he broke the floor on that one. Oh, he dropped the combo. I don't know if that was a setup or not. Uh, I'll just say it's a yes on a setup. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Alright, so what, what do I do? Oh, okay. <laughs> you, I, I, I'm guessing I was just hoping for him to push buttons after getting hit by the down back four. That's the only reason I will attempt a rage drive afterwards. Because if he jabs, he's getting hit. So that was rather quick work. Um, I do believe my next match is against Xerxes. He's a Lily player that recently moved down here from up north. I forgot from what state he said he came from. Um, I've played him before. I just know that I have to um, just watch out for the lows. And just go off basic knowledge of Season 1 Lily. Because I honestly do not know what changed for her in Season 2. So yeah, so if you pay attention to my face, I am rocking the beard. Just because it's no shave in November. And it's time to grow a beard. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going away come December 1st, but still. You get to see me looking like a grizzly bear for the time being. Yeah, because like coming into the match, I'm just going to play it how I normally would, literally. A lot of sidestep lefts. And just do my very best and I got clipped by her flip kick. <laughs> That's pretty much it, really. Alright, so let's see. Alright, he's jab happy. That's his first 1-2 jab into, into a dick jab. So that's two chick jabs so far. Three. So here I'm just returning them. Alright, so he knows about the string. Okay, I break that throw. Oh, and I get clipped. Alright. So basic Lily stuff there so far. Let's see if he does again the one, two jabs into the dick jab. Oh, single jab into the dick jab now. All right, I caught him trying to interrupt. Get up to the wall. Oh, got him ducking. I missed the refloat, unfortunately. Caught him trying to stud. And the forest Oki at the wall with the face down spikes. All right, there I interrupt her for first low. I should have let the back to one rip. All right, so he whiffed the flip kick. And, oh wow, he's just hitting me with lows left and right now. All right, he didn't break a throw, that's a good sign. Dick jab again. Oh, and I missed the interrupt. I think I was trying to do wall standing one, two, and I did it too fast. And I got the king show one plus two instead. That sucked. Ooh, he opened the round with a hop kick, okay. Okay, he's not ducking. He's pushing buttons after every 1-2 so far. He doesn't just let a 1-2 rip and not do anything. Alright, he clipped me. Basic Lily Joel. Wow. I don't know if that was intended or not, but... Definitely did work there. I want to say it was a setup. Oh, that was a good dick that, that job. Oh! And I try to interrupt with a race drive there. Why? I am not quite sure, to be honest. So he's just going ham on the buttons. I am going to have to adjust. Hopefully I do adjust that way. Instead of just turning it up even more. We shall see how I adjust. Because I honestly don't remember. Okay, he's ending his 1-2 strings now. Ooh, I did not duck the wall standing 1-2. Okay, I caught his visit down back 3. <laughs> he retaliates with dick jabs and I'm not... I'm not low pairing it. <laughs> See? <laughs> 
How many dig jabs is it gonna take for me into that little parry? <laughs> Alright, so I just kept a mid on him at the end of the round. It wasn't anything anything fancy there. Dick jab again. Alright, I interrupted that low again. Since he's not getting up, I'm gonna take the extra Oki damage off the floor. Dick jab again. Alright, Cotton Duckin. He's expecting to slide. Speaking of, caught it there. Didn't put didn't launch me though. Got clipped. I uh, more like interrupted than rather than clipped. Alright, I'm gonna go low again. No, that's not gonna kill. Oh, this one will though. Yeah. Alright, that was rather aggressive round for no reason. <laughs> He's interrupting everything with the down one. Ooh, I was not expecting him to get hit by the first attack. I messed up the juggle, but the old American reset. Okay. I'm guessing he, did, he didn't know how to block that. He wasn't expecting the spike to do that now, I guess. Which is another another season 2 Yoshi buff. Kincho 1 plus 2 against an airborne opponent does that weird floppy spike now. So when you do it at the wall, if you don't quick get up, the back turn down 1 is guaranteed. Alright, so let's see what I do now in the final set. Hopefully I block the wild standing one, one, two, three, or what is it, one, two, four, or whatever that string is, or at least duck the second high. I haven't done that once. And I haven't low parried the obvious down one jabs. So let's see, hopefully I do that. Oh, guess not. Try to, try to flash interrupt. Oh, that's actually one thing I, I, I wasn't doing. I know Yoshi can interrupt a lot of Lily's poke strings with a flash. Alright, so I'm catching him ducking. Man, I am not low pairing that dick jab at all. I, th th that should have been the obvious low parry. Because he's been doing that every time. Right. Okay. So I'm banking that he's doing the, the axe kick every time. There, yeah, I see. Okay, so I guess that's not 15. It's probably less, 13 or 14 maybe. There we go. Finally blocked a launch punishable low. But yeah, like a, a rather interesting side buff for Yoshi is by doing the quarter circle forward one uh, unblockable after certain juggles, it's actually 100% guaranteed. And it actually does a little bit more damage than his default uh, bread and butter juggle. So the next time I do it, I'll call it out so you can see what it is. And there I try to interrupt the dick jab instead of actually trying to low parry it. There, I don't know why I didn't do a normal juggle. I risked it all on him not blocking the up forward too. But it worked out in my favor. Alright, so here he's just getting up incorrectly. Oh, caught him ducking with the Kincho again. Alright, so I kept it I kept it safe at the end. No no fancy gimmicks at the end. It was just basic wall wall combo with quick 50-50 Oki at the end. Overall that match was pretty disappointing. <laughs> I didn't low parry a single dick jab. Because they were obvious. He was he would always do single jab into down one or one two into down one. And the only times he would try to interrupt with a down one would be when I would do a down forward one two into the, f the back fist or any other 50 50 afterwards. He just would attempt a dick jab. Alrighty. All's well that ends well, I guess. I still won. So next up is Gibson, our resident Nina Katarina player. I played him countless times, so I know kind of what to expect. And that's actually one new addition to his actual game plan. Like he's been doing the running low, and then he'll instantly do her up forward one. And it's been working out pretty well. The only caveat to that strat is that um, 
If you get hit by the slide and it's not a counter hit, you can sidestep right and the up forward one will whiff. Which I don't think I take advantage of it. Uh, there he went for the axe kick this time. Okay. So he's playing aggressive as well. No throw breaks, but still aggressive. <laughs> There's the up forward one. Wake up up forward one. Let's see, the gimmick to the wall? No. That was a good. Good axe kick. Okay, he's not getting up correctly. Oh, that was a flash, and I got a jab out of it. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I know, I know for a fact I was mashing jabs or a flash, and I got a jab out of it. So there he goes again. I did not step it this time though. I just blocked and I waited the 50-50. Okay, he didn't go for the final hit. Okay, I caught the counter hit interrupt. I'm just trying to bait now. I tried to bait the wild running 1 plus 2, but he didn't do it. Good duck on his part, but he didn't launch me. <laughs> that was just the, sh the, the ducking shimmy step. And then he goes for this. Alright, this is not going to kill, but it'll be pretty close, I think. Yeah, that's plenty of life for a flash. Do I go for it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was plenty of life for me to attempt the, the flash rage art. Just because of the damage reduction on his plenty. He would have to do something really beefy to kill me. Okay, that was a good forward three on his part. Get me to the wall. Oh, he dropped the wall combo. Okay, he's, he, he's crushing the one two one, but he's not launching me. So I'll take that as a win-win on my part there. Okay, he was really hesitant there. So since he's hesitating, I'm just gonna, I think, either rush. Oh, well, th that was a good attempt of what I was saying. When when he does the run, the like I forget what the input is, the the slide, the low slide, and he attempts either the up forward one or the uh, or the jumping axe kick. You can sidestep right, and it'll whiff. Uh, okay, he's just eating attacks left and right now. Does he go for the rage drive? Oh, he messed up. So I take the win on a mess up. It's all right. The tournament, you take every win you can get until you finish the tournament with a win. All right, so we instantly go for the rematch. Because in reality, the, like the stages don't matter that much when you play against someone for a really, really long time. Ooh, Kami with a backhand. Okay, he's mashing after the down back four. Take my wall standing one one. He ends the string. He blocks correctly. Most need attempt to attack after after that that string. So I'm just keeping mids on him. That was a good punish. Ooh, slow mo flashes. Those are always great to watch. Just because Yoshi moves in like like two times faster than the other person. And as a Yoshi player, generally speaking, like when you get the slowdown and you know you inputted a flash, chances are you won. <laughs> you won that entire debacle. Okay, what's he gonna do? Get off safely. I still eat the low because I'm a noob. Ooh, crossover back twos. Okay. Okay, so I just jump away because. I don't want to fight dead on. Oh, good string to use. If, it, if, he, if he would have done just a single hit or a double hit, it would have whiffed. I didn't sidestep right again. Tried to catch a down four, but with the hop kick, nothing happened. All right. So he doesn't like. I'm, I'm gonna assume he doesn't know about the frames on a forward one, because that's why that cross dash two hit on a counter hit. Okay, so I went for the... I, I thought I was going to cancel it, but I guess I just went for the normal string. Okay, so he's pushing buttons at the wall. Trying for the interrupt rather than the, the actual defensive escape. Alright. 
Ooh, come on. Oh, I didn't even do the right combo. <laughs> it's it's such a surprise sometimes when that move is on a counter hit. Alright, well, basic combo. Oh, see, there we go. <laughs> I did it and I didn't even punish it. <laughs> Aha, the hard read on the down four. And I win it. I don't know if, I, if against him it was the best of three. I think it's the best of three. Because I think this is winners. I can't read because of right now my screen, like as I'm recording this audio, I'm running the video at like a quarter resolution. So at the very top just looks pixelated. <laughs> so I can't read if it's winners, but I, I'm guessing it is winners because uh, now this is the third match. Okay. Oh my god, I actually got the counter hit off the <laughs> off the Kincho 3. Like speaking of moves that you never expect to hit on a counter hit, that's one of them. <laughs> it's like I understand they, they changed the properties and they made it a counter hit launcher, but it's like one of those moves that's so obscure really. Because like it never hit before on a counter hit. It's just always knocked down. So you always expect it the same result every time. But now you kind of have to pay attention to see what happens. Like if the screen shakes or not. Alright. Ah, I caught the timing of this slide. So, you set it, so that's the combo really. So you do a couple hits. Depending on the launcher, it's two to three hits. And then you, you end in back two and then crouch dash two. And then you instantly go for the the quarter circle forward one and regardless if they tech roll left right quick get up lay down back roll whatever they always get hit by it all right so there i i got the flash there we go see and it actually does i think like i think eight or nine damage more than the than the bread and butter and you get better oki out of it because when the quarter circle forward one hits your yoshi's at advantage i think like plus one or plus two or something so you can use those frames to further press more pressure. Yeah, so there I, I was just gonna steal frames. Plus like maybe because I had the life delete to, to play with. Especially for a final hit. Alright, so here I move on to grand finals and I have to play um HHG. 20 ounce true or true 2z or 20z or whatever you know, whatever they call themselves i still call him 20 ounce not sure why but it is what it is and he's a fellow beardy <laughs> it's so weird seeing myself with an actual beard on i look like an entirely different person it's so weird but uh, yeah so true is another one of my one of my training partners, he plays Shaheen, Gigas, um, a couple other characters, but he mainly focuses now more on Gigas than Shaheen, because he doesn't like the nerfs that Shaheen got, and he likes the buffs that Gigas got. Especially in Season 2, the matchup for Yoshi against Gigas is, is much better now, because like before it was horrible. Like Gigas had like no way to actually beat Yoshi, really. Cause like as soon as he got rage, the rage drive was useless. So the only time rage was even a factor is when Gigas ended up getting a launcher somehow. And um, a couple of the other changes are, are a little weird too. Like the one two now is worse on block, so things like that. But he they gave him some nice buffs though. His wall splat move has armor. Um, what else? His juggle damage is actually a little bit better. Um, he has that new wall ender, which is like the knee into like a punch looking thing that knocks you down. And it does the same thing as Yoshi's Kincho 1 plus 2 at the wall. Uh, with similar with a similar 50-50 afterwards. So so with those buffs, uh, Gigas is pretty gross. So I know going into that, I have to be wary of when I put Gigas into rage. Um, Mainly because you, I, you, like now you have to respect it, especially since it's a full screen rage drive. And really, the only way to avoid it is to go into Dragonfly or go into Fleet. Really, you know. All right, so here the poke game. Okay, so I'm just doing the new 50-50 things. He's at the wall, especially because the counter hit 
back turned um, down one, like at the wall, you can actually get like 50-ish extra damage when you crouch cancel and you do um, down two two one, because it actually picks up at the at the at the wall. All right, so there. Okay, caught him pushing buttons. Oh, and I messed up the adjust frame, but <laughs> do I recover that? Uh, no, I don't. See, like now you have to respect that stupid thing. All right, so here, let's see what happens. It was a series of unfortunate endings in that in that round. Oh, I'm just poking him. I'm, ju I'm just stopping him from from actually starting an offense. Because like before in season one, I would, and like I, I could decide: do I want to play against Gigas at full screen, or do I want to play him up front? You know. Now it's like, it's more beneficial to be in his face than it is at max range. But it's still just as effective. It's just a different mindset you gotta do now when you're farther away. Oh, and here he caught me, yeah. Like if this was against another character, when you're, when you're stuck in flea and they do the rage drive against almost all the cast really you can either hold down during the end during the rage art animation or hold up during the, during the animation and yoshi evades it <laughs> there's like certain characters that it doesn't work against gigas is one of them everybody that has a a 13 frame rage art it doesn't work against them and i think paul i have to look at my notes but I, and I think this, yeah, I think it is Paul. But everybody else it works against. Like they literally, like their their rage arts literally just whiff. It's hilarious. And against certain characters, you get a launcher afterwards. <laughs> awesome. All right, so here he, he already took that last round. Call me ducking. Yeah, there's that ender. See, it's a gross fifty-fifty at the wall. And I think yeah, and that move high crush my jab. I think that's what it was. I'll have to look at the footage again later. So there he took the first one, 3-1. One, and I think I had just had to dial everything back, I think. And then just just respect the poke game a little more. Let's see. Uh, he interrupted the 4-4-3 four, four, with a thick jab. He's doing a lot of lows. Yeah, so far everything that's hitting has been a low or a dick jab. All right, there I caught him sleeping and I messed up the juggle. What kind of a juggle was that? I want to call that a, a complete misinput because I'm pretty sure I was trying to do crouch dash too. And I got it down forward too. Oh, and I didn't launch that. It's unfortunate. Right, so what's he going to do? Oh, that range is huge. Oh, I could have just let it rip. I caught him ducking. Alright. He wasn't guarding the ankles. I'm surprised that <laughs> that uh, unblockable points didn't kill me. That's another thing I got buffed. They gave it more damage. Alright, caught him twitch ducking. To the wall, yep. And then 50-50. Yes. Okay, he didn't. He broke it though. Okay, so I just take the wall. No loss, any 1 1. Expecting him to push a button after a down 4. As I'm keeping mid zone. Okay, he didn't punish that correctly, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just trying to make him commit on the down 4s. Oh, that was a good read. Where's he go? Okay, caught him twitching there. <laughs> and there I just waited, because I know he was expecting me to do something silly. So I just baited it. Just took a simple punish for the win, because I didn't have to do anything crazy. Alright, so third match now. I'm not sure if I adjust or I just keep doing the same 
the same poke game that I was doing. But we'll see. Oh, I didn't punish that headbutt. Okay, he punished that correctly. The headbutt, I believe, is still minus 10. And that completely whiffed against him. Okay, so I, I punished it with a 14 at least. Okay, it's a punish. It's not the most optimal punish. Uh, the American reset. It's not going to kill the... Uh, and then he committed on the wake up delayed hop kick. Pretty sure he was expecting me to do the, the sword sweep. Okay, so I caught him. Okay, he went for the down back too, finally. I should have I should have did the down forward two there. Because I had the bait. Alright, I still went it though, but it wasn't. It wasn't the correct way of doing it. Alright, here I'm just hoping he's <laughs> Oh my god, another misinput. And he, and he gets the combo afterwards. Okay, so he's counter kicking every time I hit him with a down back four. Good punish. <laughs> Alright, so I Oh, I messed up that up. In here, I, oh, I'll probably die because of it. Yeah. God. So many miss inputs. Alright. Let's see if I at least. At least you cover. <laughs> I'm trying to fuzzy guard that knee into the punch. There you go. There's that combo again. Ooh. Good 4 4 2. Okay, this is a kick. Oh, I caught him doing something there. Yeah, and there I just went for the uh, old faithful. <laughs> There's no way that combo is going to mess up unless I missed the just frame. Because even if he tries, if he does the, the, what is it, that crawl, that dragon off crawl off the floor. Um, with, Since the wall was there, the down swipe probably would have hit him. And I also made a video, uh, it's already on the site also, of how to punish that. Essentially, you, whenever you land a forward forward 2-2 two, two just frame, always do the down back one. And uh, you essentially just buffer in a forward forward 2 after the down one. And you're essentially ex expecting them to get up correctly by by doing the headbutt thing to avoid the low sweep. Oh god, that was a misinput big time. So like you're you're buffering the forward forward after the down one to ex expecting them to do the headbutt thing, because that's like the only way to avoid the down slash. But at the same time, they're opening up getting punished with a back turned, back to one combo. Granted, the timing is a little strict, but it's definitely doable offline. Oh, there he blocked the get up again. Okay, so I go for the big combo and Oki afterwards, and he cur he finally did the hop kick correctly. Oh, I ate the low. That move is like if you block the low, you can flash and interrupt the last punch every time. But since I ate the low, it just didn't work out. Alright, so there is was my first attempt at just doing a quick YOLO after the down forward one two, and it worked out. I think I tried again, because I'm seeing that he's hesitating when he gets hit. Alright, there I, I sway out the way. If he would have done the unblockable, I would have gotten hit. Oh, and then he got me with the hop kick again. He did the wrong combo, but still. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oop. I mean, that should have been the round. <laughs> and there it is again. I think um after I got hit by that one, I decided like the next time I had enough life and Gigas had rage, I was going to try to play uh, The Floor is Lava. And see exactly who who attacks first. So I, like I don't know if that, if I was gonna do Dragonfly or the Flea version, but I was hoping to at least attempt it one time. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so I got him on the interrupt. Drop another juggle. 
Oh, I tried the fuzzy guard, the high punch, but he did the mid. Okay, he's trying to interrupt. Good break. Oh, he, he didn't. He didn't down floor again. Oh, good mid. Oh, I missed that input. The, the pun is so bad there. Fifty fifteen to fifty fifty. Such a good move now. No longer complete booty against Yoshi. Oh, I didn't punish that again. That quick headbutt is minus ten. Oh, there he tried the armor to it. Caught it again. When on his second attempt. Oh, he didn't push buns. Oh, that is not the right. Okay, it's a punish. Yes, I understand. But it's not the correct punish. It should be a wall standing two one. <laughs> and the Indian one with the ghost range. Okay, he didn't commit on the on the second attack. Oh, caught the down floor finally. Oh, he finally caught me pushing buttons there. Okay, so he goes with 50-50. Hard roll out the way like you're supposed to. Uh, he tried to fake it. Oh, caught him again with the down forward one, two into the. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the floor is lava. <laughs> and I caught him running in. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. I'm pretty sure that's what broke him there. Oh, fuzzy guarding, but I didn't punish. Oh, snap. Good float. Okay, he broke it. Good. No free wins. Oh, he didn't punish the cross dash, too. Didn't punish the hop kick either. Getting away with murder now. Oh, clown sleeping. Okay, for the wall, what am I going to do? Trying to get him to duck. Oh, there it is. He finally ducked at the wall. And with that, I win the tournament. Um, so, yeah. It's overall, it's a sloppy tournament. But it was fun nonetheless. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching this long video. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Join the channel. And, yeah, guys. Catch you next time.